We got two brand new stories when it comes to election integrity, and we got an update on what is happening in Arizona. Now, last time we did an update on this, we found out that uh, there were some election databases that were destroyed or gotten rid of, deleted, however you want to put it, on a certain machine that's out there. And not long after we published that, there were media reports from all of your favorite alphabet networks saying that, no, in fact, they are still there and nobody deleted them. Don't bother double checking and don't bother checking with anybody else because we got our friends to confirm our reports, okay? Don't worry about it. Well, in fact, the guy who was there a man named Ben Cotton, working for one of the audit firms, uh, reaffirmed his initial statement that, yeah, uh, shit was deleted on there. I got proof of it because I can go back and I can take a look at the stuff that was deleted. And I had to jump through a couple of hoops in order to get that information. So, yeah, it looks like uh, trying to play fast and loose with the rules isn't really going to pay off for you in this instance. A forensic auditor helped conduct a, an audit of the 2020 election machines in Arizona's largest county, that would be Maricopa, of course, on May 20th. Reports claiming he backtracked on allegations that files were deleted from one of the machines. My testimony on May 19th before the Arizona Senate is being taken out of context by some media outlets to confirm the database's directory on the EMS primary server was, 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 was deleted containing the voter databases i was able to recover the deleted databases through forensic data recovery process ben cotton founder of cypher i'd imagine that's how you say that said in a statement emailed to the epoch times by the audits a liaison some reports including articles by the associated press and cnn you don't say you don't say alleged auditors had backtracked from or reversed allegations that files were deleted from a machine. AP, for instance, claimed that Cotton said that the data was not destroyed, reversing earlier allegations that uh, election officials in the state's most populated counties eliminated evidence. Well, you can see the important context that they left out, right? Yeah, I was able to recover the deleted information, so in fact, the data was not destroyed, reversing earlier allegations that, and then you could fill in the rest of the quote. Missing very important context, not something that the AP is normally known to do, right? Well, let's check with the other bastion of truth. CNN claimed that the auditors backtracked from claims that key databases had been deleted. And uh, 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 Orange Man Bad, that too. Yeah, uh, uh, they, they nothing gone on. Uh, most secure, most safe election in history. Don't ask any questions about it. Joe Biden is, in fact, the most popular and the most important, most well-liked president of all time. Don't check our sources but this is a perfect perfect little snapshot in time of how these alphabet networks go out there and operate okay they have some kind of a fucking harebrained idea they can take a piece of information out of context uh, it would be just the ap in this situation because the ap is the one that always gets ripped off from you can go to whatever source you want and it's like oh the ap reported it so it has to be true right so they're resting on their laurels of formerly i don't even know maybe it requires more investigative endeavors into figuring out if the ap was ever trustworthy to begin with but they're they're resting on those laurels that the AP is the bastion of truth. They just report stuff unobjectively, or rather objectively, sorry, the difference. And you can just go out and you can make your news stories. You can write your teleprompters for your empty skulled cocksuckers over at CNN and they can just go ahead and propagandize the masses for you. There you go. Make it more palatable. We just got the facts for you. But what we're seeing now on a pretty much hourly basis is they'll come up with some facts okay come up with some facts of their own their truth in this instance in fact where okay the associated press can report on something they'll call their friends over at cnn hey did you hear this line that's on there yeah you know what i did hear that i thought it was a little bit sketchy do you guys want to write uh, this report because we're thinking about it over here at the ap uh do you guys over there at cnn want to report something and then we can just kind of i don't know compare notes and see if we can come up with the same kind of situation and it's like oh okay so the ap can say as reported by cnn and cnn can post their little article saying well the ap reports on this and our sources say and by sources they don't cite anybody's names they just keep it anonymous they just use one source and who's that initial source well the people that they uh collaborated with to begin with over at the ap you see that's the fake news cycle and that's how it spins so for future reference if you guys would like to come back to this one 
that's just an example of how shit works out. Fucking media sure does shake out quickly, don't, doesn't it? Both outlets left out cru er, crucial context of Cotton's testimony before the Arizona State Senate on May 18th. I just, yeah, reprovided that before we went into our lengthy analogy. Subsequently, I have been able to recover all of those deleted files and have access to that data, which is great. So we won't be seeing anything out of this for a couple of weeks. I think it was, what, 60 or 90 days before the official report from Maricopa County comes out. And I'm hopeful we find something. We've seen some numbers come out that are preliminary that we can't really back up because we don't have any reports. But as soon as the report gets made, that'll be great. I hope it triggers more investigation as to different um, elections that have been held, maybe in the past, maybe in the future. Maybe so we shore stuff up so we don't have to keep doing these forensic audits. As much as I would like to see an audit happen every single time an election happens to just cross the t's dot the i's double check the work check the receipts over and over again i would love to see that happen that'd be a great thing for well, pretty much anybody because i don't care who wins the election at the end of the day i'd have my preference when it comes to candidate of course like anybody else does but if everything's fair and square if everything happens as it said as it is written down on the ballot count that ballot let's figure out the winner and then the loser can regroup reformulate try again next time okay that's how the system is supposed to work and audit it do that same process over and over and over again it shouldn't be the fight like it is in arizona unless of course you have something to hide which um yeah i don't want to draw any conclusions that's more or less what i let you guys uh, do i just provide the information but again what can we glean out of this maricopa county audit well hopefully it's the impetus for more states to hop on board and maybe do an audit of their own. I thought maybe Georgia might hop on next or maybe Wisconsin. Oh, wait, Wisconsin's going to be going through an audit. That'll be great. We're still waiting for the parameters and who's going to be doing what over there. All we know is that it's a yeah, bipartisan commission or an independent third party is going to be conducting the audit, who I'm sure that they'll... The Democratic Party of Wisconsin will probably be running down the throat of them, just like the Democratic Party of Arizona was running down the throat of Cyber Ninja and apparently Cypher as well. But it looks like the first bit of election integrity stuff might be happening in a state that mm, I was a little bit doubtful of anything to happen, as much as the state itself was very, very vocal about making sure that the proverbial T's were crossed and the I's were dotted and everything was double-checked. It is the great state of Pennsylvania because they went through Fayette County specifically, had some local elections that they needed to ah, finish up. They needed to take into account, but then they found out that some ballots were missing some very important pieces of information. And um, yeah, it was making uh, the scanners not do their job. So yeah, interesting. Could this spark something new? Don't know. But here's the story. Mostly Republican ballots. <laughs> Who's shocked by this? I know I'm not. Failed to scan in Pennsylvania County election stoking concerns. It probably should. A number of ballots couldn't be scanned during local elections this week in a southwestern county in Pennsylvania, triggering fresh concerns about election integrity. The ballots, mostly from Republican voters in Fayette County. Ah, boy, it always happens in one direction, hey? We're missing barcodes that typically help facilitate electronic scanning. Oh, there's almost like there's something wrong with electronic scanners. We should just all return to paper ballots. How about that? What we know at this point in time is that the barcode that uh, required to allow the paper ballots to be scanned at the polling places was missing. State Representative Matthew Dowling, a Republican, told Epoch Times. George Ratte, chairman of the Fay uh, Fayette County Democratic Party, was present when the issues began around 7 p.m. and on a May... Oh, on May 18th. Sorry, I'm sure he was the man with the scissors over there in the corner, furiously sweating, trying to start a fire in a trash can. He said nobody initially knew what the problem was. He and others went to the County Bureau of Elections and found out it was a barcode issue. Yeah, the fact that they weren't there, that tends to be a problem, right? The majority of the Republican, or of them were Republican ballots. A bureau, a spokeswoman declined to comment because, I don't know, she was fucking doing up her hair, putting on makeup or whatever. A hand recount was taking place on May 20th. Thank God. Thank God. 
like I said, it should always be happening after the initial tally's done. Figure out what the fuck you're doing. Make sure you do it right the first time so that you don't find big discrepancies during the audit. But yeah, let's fucking get it right the first time. And if not, we'll get it right the second time. Bill Kozlovich, chairman of the Fayette County Republican Party, told the Epoch Times that he believes the missing barcode stemmed from a mistake in the printing process. I honestly believe that it is an honest mistake. Honestly. Well, how many fucking times does it have to go from sheer ignorance before you can chalk it up to actually being a malicious piece of intent? Let's see, Fayette County uses Dominion Voting Systems Machines. <laughs> Uh, issues cropped up with Dominion Machines in Luzerne County in the May 18th election. Oh my god, how do they keep getting work? Those were blamed on ballot screen error. See, it's always an error. It's, you know what, uh, it's never the machine's fault or anything. Oh no, it was just something wrong with something else. Just, uh, never, uh, we're just gonna try to shirk responsibility from now until the end of time. Just for fuck's sakes, just paper ballots, paper ballots are the future because they were the past and they worked and we didn't have these types of situations unless of course the mob got involved but that's the election integrity update doesn't everybody feel a little bit more secure with your vote and that uh, it definitely matters i know i do but with that said guys i thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone